Barcelona hired me to become their new manager. They gave me a three-year contract, but they also said that if I fail to win the Champions League in these three seasons, they will sack me. And if that happens, everybody will call me a fraudulent manager. But since it's Barcelona, and I knew they've got a good team, I decided to sign the contract. But little did I know that the Barcelona board are completely broke. They gave us no money in the first season. We also had to deal with an injury crisis. And because of that, we ended up getting humiliated in the Champions League group stages. Oh, to make things worse, Real Madrid also beat us for La Liga. It kind of looked like I was going to get sacked in my first season as Barca boss. But thankfully, we had youngsters like Lamine Yamal and Pedri step up. And because of them, we managed to win the Spanish Cup. But going into season two, that's not going to be enough. We need to beat Real Madrid to La Liga. We need to do more in the Champions League. But it's only going to get more difficult for us because our star striker Lewandowski has decided to move to Al Nassar. And also, the two Jaws, Cancelo and Felix, they've gone back to their parent clubs. But well, you know what? This time around, I'm not going to make any excuses. We're going to have to do whatever we can to get Barcelona back to the top. It's time for season two. Okay, guys, I'm looking at my team for season two. And why does it look worse than last season? Of course, it's because Lewandowski's gone. Cancelo is back at Man City. And my boy Jao Felix is back at Atletico Madrid. Honestly, I think we can live without Lewandowski. But both Jao Felix and Cancelo was so great for us last season. We need them both back at the club, especially if we want to progress and try and win La Liga, win the Champions League. We need them. Of course, we've just got an email from the Barca board. You know where this is going. Hello, Mr. Estuji. We understand that last season Felix and Cancelo were incredible and we really want to sign them both. But unfortunately, due to the financial situation of the club, that won't be possible. But what we can do is allow you to sign one of of those two players. Either Felix or Cancelo. No way, man. No way. Don't make me decide such a big thing. Like, honestly, Felix was incredible in the attack for us and Cancelo was just so, so good at the back and added so much in the attack as well. This is tough. This is really tough. You know what? I don't even want to make that decision. I asked you guys to decide and vote on it. Felix or Cancelo? And wow, over 66% of you guys voted for Cancelo. I'm actually surprised. But I read through a lot of your comments, and you guys make sense. We've got Ansu Fati returning back from his loan spell. He's now 81 rated and only 21 years old. I think if we give him time, he can do the job. But for the right back position, we've got a 32-year-old Sergio Roberto. And Serginho Dest. Nah, that, that's not good enough. I guess it just has to be Cancelo. And so after some long drawn-out negotiations with Pep Guardiola, we were able to bring Jao Cancelo to Barcelona on a permanent deal. Guys, that is literally really our first signing at Barcelona. Well, hey, finally, we've actually signed a player. Oh, man. The entire first season, we had no money to sign anyone. I'm glad the board allowed us to at least do this. Oh, man. It's so good to see Cancelo back in that right-back position. But wait, that's completely Bruh. drained our budget. We've now once again got no money. Is Cancelo all that Barca can do this season? Wait, wait. Surely we should get some money for the sale of Lewandowski? Okay, so if I remember correctly, Lewandowski was sold for 25 million. And guess what? We've actually now got that in our budget. But for 25 million, we're just going to get a finished striker. That's not going to really do anything for us. Like, I know we've got Ansu Fati back, but I can't get through the season with Ferran Torres up top. We need a new striker. Okay, guys, the only strategy I can see is maybe by selling a few players that we don't need. Oh, wow. A massive offer for Rafinha. That's what we needed. How is Borussia Dortmund willing to pay 75 million for him? Guys, I think we should take it. As you guys know, Lamin Yamal is crazy good. At the age of 18, he's 85 rated. He's gonna be a starter. Yep, I'm cashing in on Rafinha. It's sad to see Rafinha go. He was kind of helpful to us, but I feel like when you get 75 million for a player like him, you just gotta take the bags. I cannot believe this, boys. A budget of 100 million at Barcelona. Am I seeing things? Is this actually happening? We kind of generated this money ourselves, though. The way this team is built, we've got our goalkeeper sorted. The defense is amazing. The midfield is actually really good. Even though Gundogan is dropping in his rating. Gavi is back from his injury and I think he's going to have a big season for us. All we need is a proper striker who can get us the goals and we'll be fine. Before we sign the striker though, gotta take a moment to honor our best player from last season. Now there were two contenders. Lamin Yamal who literally had a breakout season or Pedri who was just magical in the midfield with goals, assists and everything. And honestly, for Pedri in midfield to do all of that, I'm leaning towards him. So Pedri is your player 
third of the season from season one. It's now time to go on a hunt for the striker position. I know you might be thinking, what about Vitor Roque? Sadly, guys, the mods I've got, he's not in the game with it. And I just couldn't find, like, mods for Vitor Roque. So that's kind of why we're not including it. Maybe later on, maybe next year, FC 25, when we do the Barca career mode, Vitor Roque will be the guy for us. Until then, we're going to have to find a striker of our own. And I think I have found the player I want. And it's Julian Alvarez. Plays for Man City. 82 overall. World Cup winner. And you know what? Barcelona without an Argentinian feels wrong. Bro, he's got the same height as Messi. Yeah, different players. I know that. But Julian Alvarez is literally the kind of player we need. Do you know what, guys? We're doing it. I want Julian Alvarez at Barcelona, man. Honestly, he kind of feels like a player who at some point could actually play for Barca. Like, like yeah. I mean, we know he's a Messi fan, so he probably grew up watching Barcelona. It makes sense. But first, we got to get Pep Guardiola to sell him to us. 60 million is my offer. We've got the money finally for once. And, oh, they want 62. But to be fair, 62 million for Julie Alvarez. Absolutely. Let's pull this off. And with that, we've got Alvarez at Barcelona. Guys, don't judge him by his overall. I know he's only 82 rated, but he's the kind of player that's going to bring everyone around him to play better. With the transfers done, we've made our way to the first game of the season. Oh, we're facing Espanyol, a Catalan derby. They're back in La Liga by the looks of things. And I'll be real, guys. I don't think we're making any more transfers. We've already brought in Cancelo. I know it doesn't seem like a new transfer, but in reality, it is. Plus, Alvarez is kind of a superstar signing. Actually, in season two, there's a lot to look forward from this team. Don't forget, we've got Gavi back. Ansu Fati feels like a completely new player. What I'm hoping is that we can kick off the season strongly with a win. We need that. Here we go, boys. Another La Liga season. I'm hoping this time we can put up more of a fight. And that starts by winning our first game. One thing's for sure, though. It's so cool that we've got such an incredibly young squad. Like, Lamine Yamal is just 18. And, bro, look at him dribble. But you know what? On the left side, Ansu Fati could end up being a special, special player if we can get the best out of him. Pedri. Oh, what a ball that is for Alvarez. No, that would have been an incredible goal. I'm telling you, that's exactly why Pedri was played in the season last time around. Bro is just the craziest passer I've ever seen. No, 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 no. All the new signings we've made and all the good stuff I was saying about the team, we end up conceding. Bro, I swear if we lose our first La Liga game. No, no, no. We're not going back to square one, boys. We're starting off the season with a win no matter what. Do you know what, guys? I think I know what's missing. A bit of Gavi in the midfield. Back from a one-year-long injury, it's time to see him in action. It is nice to see Pedri and Gavi in this team as already we're on the charge thanks to those two go on baldy sees the cross and oh a simple goal for barcelona we take those ansu Fati, what a chance and ansu scores in the 80th minute i was hoping that this moment would come for him because he's endured a lot had to go out on loan back at barca and that's what he gives us let's go boys we are cooking perfect start to la liga so far look where real madrid are six. Oh, this time we've got to beat them to the title oh and by the way we're on transfer deadline day and i thought maybe we could yeah improve some of the squad depth or something but then i saw that Bruh. our budget's been reset to 10 mil i think Barca's board is just taking out money to repay all the crazy debt that they've got but you know what i don't think we need signings yeah alvarez hasn't clicked so far but you know he's gonna start scoring soon yamal has been crazy already ansu is growing into his own i think soon gavi is gonna end up being a starter over gundogan and yeah this team i think is more than good enough to win the champions league talking about the champions league it's time for for the draw and i'm already getting nightmares from last season if you remember season one we had the easiest champions league group of all time and guess what we did no 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 no. we do end up conceding in the champions league you know what forget about the goal all we need is to <laughs> no 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 not again if we lose this game we're out of the champions league that's right we finished last in our group i've never faced a more embarrassing situation than that but this season our group is actually even harder with Juventus, Lens, and Rangers. Now, nah, that's actually a very tricky group. But with the team we've got, there's absolutely no way we're getting grouped. In fact, we need to top our Champions League group. Let's just hope that we don't get another injury crisis. And here we go. It's time to begin our Champions League journey from the group stages. Hopefully, our journey begins here and ends in the knockouts at some point, because I, I don't want to be going home in the group stages. Also, for the Champions League, I'm going to reward Iñaki Pen 
Yeah. Bro, did you guys see him last season in the Spanish Cup when De Stegen was injured? No, no. Araujo made a big mistake. Peña. Oh, my days. Peña has just won us the car, bro. Iñaki Peña might be the gold. Peña was the unsung hero. He literally won us the cup. So this season, the group stages, I want to give him a chance to show what he's all about. So yeah, De Stegen, just, just be on the bench. You're going to help us win La Liga. And we'll get you back in the Champions League in the knockouts. Not going to lie, last season, this is where we completely bottled it. First Champions League game, and we took an L. That's not happening this time. I'm so glad Gabi's back in this first team, man. Because he's so freaking important for the team. As Ferran Torres looks for the cutback and... Julian Alvarez gets his first goal for Barcelona. It had to be in the Champions League. Oh, we're once again in a situation to concede a goal. Peña with the save. Is that going in? No. We somehow survive. Oh, Julian Alvarez. I don't know how he did that. But he's got another chance. And of course he scores. Juli Alvarez, a brace in the Champions League. No, we've given too much space. And Rahul can't get back. And they've scored. We're not doing this again. We're not conceding. This is the difference Gavi makes. Just unbelievable energy. And it's the 80th minute of the game. We might be able to counterattack them and score here. Gavi's still going. He has to square this one. He does. And it's a Julian Alvarez hat trick. We'll absolutely take that. Let's go, boys. Unlike last season, this time we start our Champions League campaign with a win. Alvarez with the match ball. The perfect outcome. Beating Rangers is all well and good. But we'll only know if we're decent in the Champions league if we can beat this Juventus team. Captain Araujo just strong at the back. I think my best decision this season was making Araujo captain. Just a fantastic leader. No, Moise Keen is just bullying our defenders, but Peña? I don't know how he's this good. It only just hit me, but Ansu Fati is wearing the number 10. It is a bit weird seeing another number 10 at Barcelona, man. Like, yeah, it kind of makes me sad. But yeah, the pressure on Ansu Fati coming back from the lone spell is crazy. So far for me, he's lived up to it, but we'll see. Second half against Juventus. We need to score. The boy wonder kid, Lamine Yamal, looking to go inside and out. Seeing his options. Oh, a good run being made by Alvarez, who's broken through. Tough angle, and he almost put us into the lead. Alvarez, oh, that touch, that touch. Oh, the chip. It's in, and Alvarez scores yet another goal for us. Argentinian and Barcelona chipping the keeper. Oh, it does remind me of a certain someone. Oh, Juventus have another chance. It goes for goal, and Peña again with the save. I'm telling you guys, Iñaki Peña is so underrated. Lamine Yamal, oh, the cutback. The cutback was outrageous from Lamine, and Gundogan finished the job. Barcelona are back. It's so nice to see a stop of the Champions League group, man, especially after last season. I think we've got what it takes to top this group now. The confidence is back. The team is actually clicking. We just got to keep this going. In other news, boys, Ilke Gundogan's contract is expiring in eight months. And honestly, I would rather not have him leave for free. But the thing is, if I renew his contract, we're going to have to keep him for a year or more at least. And he's only going to go down in his overall. And I don't really want him taking game time away from the likes of Fermin Lopez, Gavi. So I think I'm actually going to refrain from negotiating with Gundogan. And yes, that means this is going to be his last season at Barcelona. He's 33. I think we have to make a decision like this. Meanwhile, guys, in La Liga, we are the top dogs for once. First in the league after eight games, 22 points. But finally, we are going to be tested in La Liga as well up against Real Madrid. That's right, boys. It's the first classic of the season. And you guys know last season, Real Madrid beat us every single time we played them. This time around, it's got to be different. It has to be different if we want to win the league. And no, we've got the quality to beat Real Madrid. We just need to keep the pressure on them and take our chances, man. This game, I think we can win this. Valverde's chip is decent and no Militao in the classical puts Real Madrid top of the league. That's not the start we were wanting for. Ah, oh. You know what? As I said, we've got the team to put up a fight here. We're not losing to Madrid two seasons in a row. Absolutely not. But man, the way Madrid are playing the experience players they've got. It's it's tough to deal with. Fran Garcia, big save from De Stegen. It's complete chaos. We're surviving against Madrid. Really, man, the one team that I just feel like we've never been able to come close to has been Madrid in this series. Like, I just can't seem to do anything right now. They're just playing us off the park. We're lucky De Stegen saved that. But you know what? Football's a funny game. On the counter-attack, any team can actually score. Lamine Yamal is the one trying to make it happen, yeah? Tough angle. He's gonna go nope. for it. What an attempt. Courtois with the save. Alvarez. 
Cancelo, Lamine Yamal, diving header. I think that was not part of Lamine Yamal's skill set, a diving header. A bit too much for the young kid. Oh, Ronald Araujo as a captain, as a defender. What a performance he's put, even though we've conceded in this game. Cancelo and Asiansu Fati making a brilliant run in the box. Could be his moment. No. no. How did the keeper save that? We still might have a chance. Nope. Lamine Yamal, a double save by Courtois. That's ridiculous. Lamine Yamal crossing it into the back post, and we still cannot score. But Alvarez, right place, right time. Sometimes you need a bit of luck, especially in Classicos. Guys, look at the amount of tired legs we're dealing with in the second half. We've just equalized, but I think we're forced to make changes. I'm gonna have to use my managerial ability here to figure out something. Torres at striker is something I can work with. I think we gotta play Gavi at left wing. He can play there. Fermin Lopez in the middle, because even Gundogan is super tired. I think I'm gonna have to sub off Balde as well. He looks exhausted. Guess we'll bring on Christensen. Have Conde play at right back. I know he hates playing there, but we don't have a choice. Second half in the Classico and so many changes. I'm hoping the fresh legs can actually help us out by bringing something different. That would be just brilliant. Jude Bellingham looking for a pass and oh, to Stegen. Big save. If Courtois is making saves on the other end, so is the Stegen. I cannot believe this, that Fermin Lopez is out here playing in a Classico and he's released Pedri with a lovely pass, but I don't know if Pedri can bring it in. No, he can't, but Femin Lopez, in the few minutes he's played so far, impressive. Again on the ball here, look at Femin go, he's just got a really ridiculously good dribbling style, and a good pass as well. We could do something uh, offside. This is the benefit of having Jao Cancelo, even as a left back, he can do business. It's now Ferran Torres, looking for Lamine Yamal. <laughs> Lamine Yamal in the 89th minute, a classical winner. This goal could help us win La Liga. Outrageous stuff from Lamine. The boy wonder, the next Messi, he's done it. Bro, that was also a cold finish from Lamine. Waited in the last moment, slots it past Courtois. Just unreal. Full time and we've actually beaten Madrid. I'm, I'm still stunned. The way we did it as well, let's go. Could this be the start of winning La Liga with Barca? Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Also, guys, if you're enjoying this Barcelona career mode, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit a million subscribers, and we're so close. With your help, we can get there. Things have been so perfect this season, it's actually crazy. We're top of La Liga, unbeaten as well. Like, this is our season. Also, in the Champions League, we managed to top our group, and we did it by being unbeaten. Halfway through, and look at this season Lamin Yamal is having. I just I just can't believe we're getting this much out of him. And also, Frankie De Jong and CDM getting those kind of stats. Just absurd. By the way, if you're wondering why Julian's stats are this bad, it's because he couldn't play half the games due to injury. But now he's back, so that's awesome. I'll be honest though, Ansu's involvement lately has been very low, so I'm hoping in the second half of the season he can change that. One thing though that we aren't going to change is the team, because I don't think there's any reason to change anything. The team's working well. Every position's looking solid. Let's push towards the business end of the season. It's deadline day, guys. And now we've not made a single signing. As I said, I'm super happy with the team because actually for the first time, I'm looking forward to the second half of the season because look at the way we've dominated La Liga. We've also qualified for the Champions League round of 16 where we're playing Leverkusen. That's a good draw to get. And yeah, unlike last season, I feel like we've got a chance to win multiple trophies this season. Wait a minute, guys. Where's Kunde? Um, I can't seem to find him. Bro, no, 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 no. Just as the window shuts. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. PSG out of nowhere have just paid Kunde's release clause. I forgot to check the release clause on our squad. No. Like, this is crazy. His value is more than the transfer fee. No wonder PSG snapped him up. He's French. Going back to PSG, I don't blame him at all, but we should have been more careful. He was one of our best players at the back. I can't believe this. Just as everything was going well, you knew something crazy was about to happen. The only positive thing is that we've got Christensen still at the club, and he's gonna have to play in that centre-back position for the second half of the season. Oh, that 70 pace that he's got is gonna create problems. But you know what, boys? I learned from my mistake, and I removed the release 
clauses on all our players by offering them new contracts. We had to do that. And also, nope, just no time left to sign another center back, boys. Just gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. Hang on. I've got a message from Andreas Christensen. Gaffer, I don't respect you. All season long, you had me on the bench. You disrespected me by not giving me a single opportunity. I have no interest in playing for this club. I've submitted my transfer request and at the end of the season, I'm leaving. Guys, he's actually done it. Christensen has submitted a transfer request. And bro, this guy is serious about not playing for us because he's faked an injury by the looks of things. Stone hamstring out for four months. Nah, you're lying. You're lying, Christensen. He just does not want to play for us. And to be fair, we only gave him like eight appearances so far this season. For a player as good as him, it's... Yeah, but we had Jules Conde. But it kind of feels like Conde betrayed us. Now Christensen is turning his back on us. We've got the Champions League round of 16 coming up. What do we do? Wait a minute, boys. If you remember, Eric Garcia, he went to Girona for a season, performed really well there, and now he's back here at Barcelona. I don't think we have any other option but to give him a shout. Oh, man. Jules Conde leaving us has created such a massive problem, but Eric Garcia, well, it's a homegrown player that's gonna try and hopefully save us. And so our Champions League journey actually begins, because let's be real, it's the knockouts where things count. Oh, wow. We're playing in snowy conditions as well. Hopefully that doesn't cost us. The one thing that could cost us is having Eric Garcia in the back. He's literally being thrown into a Champions League knockout game. But one thing I do like about the fact that players like Eric Garcia, Lamine as well, are all in the team. We've actually followed Barcelona's principles, giving La Masia players chances. And I guess I'm hoping it works out well. No, defense getting opened up. Eric Garcia is out of position. He's not used to this level. And, oh, it's a big struggle defending, and we're somehow doing it thanks to our captain, Ronald Araujo. In all honesty, boys, Captain Araujo has been our standout player this season. Like, honestly, just, just look at him. The problem, though, is we cannot win the Champions League by defending. We need to score goals, and maybe Balde's pace can get us that. He puts the cross in somehow. Oh, Pedri, another chance. No, it gets blocked. Without Conde, it definitely feels like the balance of this team is a bit off, because he used to drive the ball forward so much, but... He's gone. We can't lament on it too much. We, we just need to get on with it. Oh, this is looking dangerous. It's all on Araujo to defend. It's not easy, but De Stegen pulls off a good save. Knockout games. He's, of course, back in the starting 11. Once again, where's Eric Garcia, man? Araujo, it's like he's defending on his own. No! Bayer Leverkusen take the lead. What was that? Where was Eric Garcia? Guys, are we about to get knocked out in the round of 16? I know it's only the first leg, but this is a horrendous result. One last attack is Laminia looks for Ansu Fati. This could result in something. It has to result in something. Still Ansu. Massive chance for him. Oh, it's a lovely finish from Ansu Fati. Donning that number 10. Saving Barcelona at the very end. And that's full time. First leg. I'm so glad we salvaged something. We're going straight away into the second leg against Leverkusen. But this time we're playing at home. No, defense exposed again. What just happened to Stegen? Huge save. It kind of feels like just we, we can't defend like we used to. First half of the season, we were so good. Has one transfer really changed all that much? Ansu Fati here. Looking to go inside. Strikes it well. Big save from the keeper. That's more like it. We got to keep pushing. Oh, Eric Garcia is so slow, man. And that's a problem at the back post. We're so lucky we didn't concede. Looking for Julian Alvarez. Striking it, but he puts it wide. I think he had space to go forward. Julian, no. Maybe it's Ansu Fati that's going to carry us as he puts the ball back in. No. Laminia Mullis just missed a sitter. I can't believe it. That was a golden chance. How do you miss that? Pretty much an empty net because the left side was completely open. I can't believe it on the sidelines as well. No. Is finally the inexperience of our squad catching up to us? No, no, no. El Nasseri, somebody just put a challenge in Alter Stegen, you legend. But the attack is not over yet. No, no, we got excited too early. We ended up conceding 67th minute. We're 2-1 down on aggregate. Another Champions League humiliation? Was last season not enough? No, no, no. We're not giving up. There's still time. This is where the mentality of our squad's going to get tested. Nope. But we're getting outplayed. Araujo and Cancelo saving us there. But we need to score. And after Lamine missed this sitter, I'm sure he wants to make amends. Keeps going. Lamine Yamal bringing it inside. Maybe finding space. Strikes it well, but he puts it wide. Ansu Fati has saved us this season in a lot of different occasions. I'm hoping he'll do it once again. Looking for a cross. Lamine Yamal. Oh, my days. 
How did he not catch it? It's kind of my fault because I tried to do a timed finish, but still. Let me Yamal no. Guys, we have just two minutes and we'll be out from the Champions League. I, I genuinely can't believe this. One last chance, maybe. Are we going to get one last opportunity? Cancelo. This could be it. Ciao, Cancelo. Back post cross. It's not good enough. Ansu. Handball. Handball in the box. We've been robbed. Guys, we've been robbed. Look at this. Handball. Clear as day. Ansu tries to control it. Then it comes off this guy's arm. Bro, that's handball. We have been robbed by the refs. We've been knocked out from the Champions League by Bayer Leverkusen. The misery just never ends for Barcelona. And oh wow, the Spanish media is completely blaming Lamin Yamal for this loss. Like, come on, comparing Lamin to Messi is just unfair. Look at the season he's had. 35 goals in 42 games. It's, it's simply sensational for an 18-year-old. I don't know how he's doing it. But the one time he has a bad game, misses clear chances, you, you can't. You can't do that, man. You know what, boy? Boys, unlike last season, we still have something to play for, and it's La Liga. We're top of the league, 69 points, Atletico in second place. Let's just completely focus on La Liga now and try and win it. Don't forget, we've got a three-season contract. Next season, we'll go for the Champions League. For now, though, we owe it to become champions of Spain. Our biggest rivals for the title right now seem to be Atletico Madrid. Oh, and look at Ja Felix. He was our guy last season, and he's been scoring quite a few for Atletico, 16 and 14 games. But look at Lamine all alone at the top. What a season he's having, except for that one bad game. Guys, it's an opportunity to bounce back from the setback in the Champions League. Gotta take it. Let's go out there and beat Atletico Madrid. Gotta say, it's a big night for Lamine Yamal as well. A chance to bounce back. I know he's had a rough week. A lot of hate, but I know the kind of talent he is, so I'm hoping for a big performance from him. And already he's just wriggling through, and oh, what a pass for nope. Julie Alvarez. We should have scored there. Lamine Yamal attacking, keeps going, Denied. strikes it so well. That would have been a wonder goal, possibly goal of the season. I feel for Yamal, man. He's trying everything. Free kick in Alvarez. Maybe he's learned a bit from Leo Messi. Who knows? He might be able to curl this one in. It would be a bit ridiculous if he pulls this off. Julie Alvarez. Oh, my days. That that might be goal of the season against Atletico Madrid. Julie Alvarez has done that. Nah, bro. That might be one of my best free kicks. An expected goal of 0 0.05. And Alvarez hit that one top bins. Like, come on. Argentinian back in Barca scoring free kicks. You can't write this kind of stuff. Loose ball should fall for Pedri. Controls that brilliantly. And oh, he goes for it and he pulls it off. Pedri with the wonder goal. We've scored both of our best goals in a single game. What a result, guys, to beat Atletico Madrid one step closer to the title. The gap that we have right now in La Liga, crazy. And if we go now to the Santiago Bernabeu, beat Real Madrid, that will make us La Liga champions. Guys, Lamin Yamal, I think he's been affected by all the critics and everything. So I'm really hoping in this Clasico he can respond, have a good game. And he's trying to do exactly that. Lamin Yamal nope. going past defenders but he feels like he's, he's a bit scared at, at, of, of failing, maybe. I, I don't know what's up with him. And no, 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 Jude Bellingham is going through to Stegen. Brilliant goalkeeping, honestly. I really don't want Real Madrid ruining this party, so we've got to go for the win. But Lamine, ah, it's not clicking again, is it, for him? And yes, Gavi. Oh, I would love to see him score in a Clasico, but he puts it wide. Real Madrid are just hellbent and spoiling the party, and they've scored here. Evan Ferguson for Madrid? This is bad. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not going allow Real Madrid to ruin our party winning the title absolutely not no 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 not another goal absolutely not Ciao Cancelo he got bullied then sure many scores Madrid are about to ruin our title winning party this has got me really worried boys if Madrid are able to carve us out open like this next season Champions League it's gonna be difficult game's not over though there's still time as Ansu Fati goes for it and he puts it wide as well Ansu Fati, lovely turn. He's great in these positions. And Ansu gets us back in this. One more goal. We can at least get a draw. Yamal has got a chance to redeem himself. And he finally does. I was waiting for this moment. Yamal scores in a Clasico. I can already sense the relief he's feeling. We've got the equalizer against Madrid. Full time and we salvaged a draw from this game. Not the result I was hoping for. Because I wanted to thrash Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. But it's enough to win us the La Liga title. And 
know the goal has always been the Champions League, but to win the league shows that we've built an incredible team that can be consistent. Mind the gap. We won La Liga by 11 points. Real Madrid failed to qualify for Champions League. Let's go. Yo, if they would have beaten us, they would have probably gotten Champions League. So we literally kicked Madrid out of the Champions League. Can't fly, boys. Lamine Yamal has just had a Ballon d'Or worthy campaign, but second half of the season, those few misses, it, it all ended up really hurting his mindset. I, I don't know what happened. Hopefully next season he can bounce back from that. But Julie Alvarez, unbelievable too. What a signing. Pedri again in midfield. Gavi too. We've built a crazy team and you know what the next goal is? The Champions League. Nah, this has pissed me off even more. PSG won the Champions League this season. Conte yeah. left us and won the Champions League. Nah. Next season is going to be the final year of our contract. It's our last chance to win the Champions League. And while you wait for the next episode, why not watch me become the world's best manager? Click here to watch that.